this might be my favourite city. Welcome to the beautiful city of Cordoba, famous for its rich history, scrumptious food, stunning architecture and vibrant culture. Cordoba offers a little something for everyone. And today I'm starting my journey at the luxurious four-star H10 Palacio Colomera Hotel, a hidden gem in the heart of the city. Here's the lovely bedroom. Feels very, very smart. I'll be having a coffee in a minute. And then in here, got a very nice bathroom. I just had a shower. Lovely. It felt like a real treat to me and it costs approximately $130 to $150 depending on the season for one night including breakfast. Now, let me show you why this city is one you don't want to miss. I'm walking into the old Jewish quarter now which is um, lots of little alleyways, flower pots everywhere, beautifully decorated and loads of places to eat and drink. This is a beautiful area that's very popular for good reason and if you're into your food you're in the right place. There are loads of simple traditional Spanish tapas bars right through to gourmet international restaurants. Loads of these little tavernas here, little bars, loads of shopping down there. It's, it's obviously popular with Muslims here as well and there are um, lots of halal restaurants. Pretty, isn't it? I love the style. The diversity of Cordoba's food scene is incredible. From halal to vegetarian, there is something for everyone, and that's not all. It's a very beautiful city. The architecture around here is so pretty. Everything about it, the colours, everything is gorgeous. I really loved Granada, but walking around Cordoba, I'm now thinking this might be my favourite city. Cordoba has a unique charm that captivates its visitors. This city has a way of making you fall in love. There is a gourmet food market here called Mercado Victoria and it's got numerous different little outlets where you can choose whatever food you want um, from traditional Spanish to international as well for the fussy eaters amongst us. I've got a few in my group. The Mercado Victoria opened in 2013 and is the city's first gourmet market housed in a beautifully restored 19th century iron pavilion and it's very popular with locals. Let's go see. Oh. Come on. Fish stalls. Oh, look, 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 look. you can get like, like yeah. gambas, fried gambas. Prawns, chocolate frita. Oh, look at all of these sardines. Mm. Oh, look, halal. There's halal food there. Oh, look at that. Thank you. They've got everything in here. They've got um, halal food there. They've got fish. They've got tapas. They've got the typical jamon. So they've got something for everyone. Japanese. Sushi. Oh, wow, look at all this here. So many things you can get, this place is amazing. After far too much choice, my kids went for simple jamón bocadillos and Chris and I chose berenjenas con miel de caña, which is fried eggplant with honey, and pisto casero, a delicious vegetable stew. Right, let's try this, a little bit the egg. Aubergine, tomato, potato, and egg. Onion, or oh, delicious. Oh. So tasty, isn't it? Ooh. They weren't wrong when they said it was a gourmet market. Mm. We've basically got berenjenas con miel de caña, um, which is eggplant with molasses. It's a very, very sweet sauce and fried eggplant. Mm. The flavours are really rich. Um, sweet. Yes, yeah, sweet. It's sweet. Nice introduction to Cordoba, that's for sure. I love the fact they call this place a market. It couldn't be a more upmarket market if it tried. There's not a plastic cup in sight. <laughs> 
There are so many things to see and do in Cordoba that you can't fail to be impressed, but there's one thing you can't miss. Right, one of the biggest things to see in Cordoba is the Mesquita Catedral, which is the mosque cathedral. Um, very, very famous UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's now a cathedral, but the Islamic architecture has been beautifully preserved. This is one of Cordoba's most famous landmarks. Originally built as a mosque in the 8th century, it was converted into a cathedral in the 13th century. You'll need to pre-book. Entry tickets are approximately $25 per adult, and I use the app Get Your Guide. This place is literally the perfect blend of um, Islamic and uh, Christian architectures. It's unbelievable. It's like seamless. All around the edge, you've got these little chapels, and then look, they go all around the edge. And if I move slowly, here we go. Back to all the columns. There are 850 columns supporting graceful arches, creating a mesmerizing sense of space. But what really stands out is how Islam and Christianity entwines itself in the architecture here. In the heart of the building, you'll discover the cathedral's grand altar and choir stalls. However, it doesn't feel like it's taken over. Rather, it sits next to the features of the mosque. And there was one part of the mosque I wanted to find. So the first thing I want to find in here is the direction of Mecca, because then I should be able to find the mirab, which is uh, meant to be highly decorated. The mirab is one of the most important features of a mosque. It's often where the imam will stand during the prayer and usually located in the centre of what's called the Qibla wall, which is positioned in the direction of Mecca, guiding Muslim worshippers during their prayers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Qibla finder here on Google to find the direction of Mecca first. Hang on. Oh, go this way. And then I should be able to find the mirab. Ah. Right, you're facing the Qibla. Now, I'd read that the Qibla wall here is slightly off the actual mark, and it's had historians debating why for years. If you look at this, it says Mecca is in that direction, but the wall here is like this, so it's definitely off. I'm going to walk along this wall and see if I can find the mirror. You cannot fail to be impressed by the Mirab here. It is absolutely enormous and absolutely stunning. I'm so pleased I found that. That's one of the most decorated in, uh, in the world, I believe. ago they started to do excavation and they actually found underneath the mosque remnants of what would have been an original church so historically it's flipped between the religions um, and now whilst it is a cathedral I like the fact that it's called mosque cathedral and it feels very much to me like it is both a mosque and a cathedral perfectly integrated I've not seen anything like this before. This is unbelievable. The Mesquita Cathedral is spiritual as well as artistic in its nature, and I highly recommend a visit. Back in the streets of Cordoba, after a little siesta and freshen up, as you do, we found ourselves at the beautiful sculpture called the Monumento al Hombre del Trabajo, which means Monument to the Working Man. So Cordoba is known for its sculptures, and there are a few dotted around, but this is one of the lesser known ones that tourists don't seem to come to. They're all kind of like up there by the mosque cathedral. Here we've got a guy, elderly gentleman, who is passing the potted plant to the young boy. It's like passing the, the tradition on to the next generation of putting the beautiful pots on the walls. It's lovely, isn't it? I hope I've been able to give you a little taste of what Cordoba offers. 
It's a great city for culture, food and simply strolling around. So I have to say Cordoba is one of my favourite Spanish cities so far. Good food, good drink, good sights, so much to do and see. And now I'm finishing my day on the terrace at the hotel H10 Palacio Colomera. It's amazing. Thoroughly recommend this place. You have to visit.